we're hoping to be able to try to identify what are the major influences that impact why you develop a particular chronic condition with time, why somebody who lives down the street from you may not be developing the same particular disease, what leads to a trajectory of health versus disease. So we're trying to ask this from a different type of perspective. We're interested in looking at data in a longitudinal way or a time-dependent way rather than just a cross-sectional view of who gets what over time. Because this is Canada's single biggest health research project of its type, it allows Canada and Canadian researchers to participate with international studies that are similarly motivated. There's something completely different about a project like this that brings together information about people before they get sick and then through the course of their life with continuing interactions with the healthcare system. And what it allows us to do is it actually allows us to establish not just clinical programs, but actually policies about really how should, how should society be structured? How could our health care delivery system be operating more efficiently? So we'd rather spend time and effort in supporting research tra that translates to uh, making sure people aren't in the clinic being diagnosed. We want to pre-diagnose you so that we can do as much as we can to stop you from coming in and having to seek those expensive treatments for those life-threatening diseases. And we're also able to um, see the value in building capacity, and we do that in two different ways. One is to build data infrastructure and decision methods and controls and processes that allow prevention-oriented research to be done. And the other way of building capacity is to give people opportunities to actually build skills, establish careers, um, learn about things as either students or new investigators. All around the world, really, there are large-scale collaborations going on where data are being pooled across studies in order to tackle important scientific questions. And the Canadian Partnership for Tomorrow project is an example of this. And a lot of work really went into harmonizing the data so that scientists like me could be provided with you know, a common view of the data across all of these different provincial and regional cohorts. And really that quickens the pace of research.